today's pretty cool because we are going to go explore some other parts of Holland, meeting up with another guy from YouTube who has been commenting on stuff for a while and he saw that I was in the Netherlands and invited me and Kyle to come meet up with him and he's gonna show us some authentic Holland action. One of the things he said is if we really wanted to experience this place, we had to leave Amsterdam, so that's just what we're doing. Side note, my camera got wet last night in the rain, and now the touchscreen doesn't work. But the camera kind of works still. I know, I'm really bumming. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys, this is Harry. Good morning. He's, he's gonna show us around today. We're going to Rotterdam and maybe some other places. Possibly, if time permits. And we'll see how the weather holds up. Right now, there's no rain, so we're lucky. I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm Rogelio. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm crashing with these guys tomorrow night, so... Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it to Rotterdam. Yeah, I'm learning all these fun facts about this place. It is a really old city, but it got totally bombed out in World War II. Back in the day, it looked really similar to Amsterdam, but to replace the buildings, they really stepped up the architecture game, and so everything is really unique, well-designed, and it's a beautiful city. This place has a beautiful mural on the whole archway and so there's a market in the middle which we're walking around right now and then there's apartments that line the walls and they look into the market and I'm assuming they have windows to look outside, outside too. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. which means uh, peanut cheese, re literally translated. Oh, peanut cheese. Yeah. That sounds a little. <laughs> that sounds a little less uh, appetizing. I'm done to try some peanut cheese. Right. This place is all about the free samples, which I can support. All right, chili, chili pepper, pepper. Sam, lemon chili grass. pepper, lemongrass, peanut butter. Oh wow, it's like actually like pretty complicated flavor palette going on there. I want to try it. That's really nice. Ooh, it's like spicy though, be careful. This architecture is amazing. We're gonna go check out this cube building. What's the cube building called? Cubus house. Cubus house. Yes, it's like cube house. Yeah. Cubus Easy enough. They started building this place in 1982 and finished it in 1984. It looks pretty forward thinking and modern. We're gonna go inside one of the cubes. As you might imagine from the outside, the inside is not the most like effective use of space. It's definitely cool looking, but it's uh, kind of weird angles. So this upstairs room is why people would want to live here. This is really cool. But I will say in general, I think homes function better when the cube is oriented <laughs> sideways, <laughs> sideways <laughs> instead of like a diamond pointing up. I feel very 70s. This is insane. Direct translation of this place Dollar. is yeah, the Dollar. shopping Dollar. gutter. Yeah, <laughs> Cope Hoot. Cope Hoot. Yes. This is the type of gutter you find in the Netherlands. Everything's very nice. It's nice. There's like beautiful classical music happening and... Uh, this is the Netherlands gutter. Yeah. 
we've just been walking through Rotterdam and we're arriving at Central Station because it's probably one of the coolest looking train stations I've ever seen. I'm just constantly impressed every turn around the city we see a new cool piece of architecture and they're all really unique. I was telling Harry that while they're all really unique, they all kind of match aesthetically and yeah, just the design of this city is absolutely beautiful. Inside this place is sweet too. I'm really digging the design of this city. I told Harry that I really like exploring different coffee shops in the cities I go to. So he found a really cool one we're going to go check out for lunch. It's and called the Man with the Glasses. Man with the Glasses. That's me. And we're riding in style. <laughs> Man met Brito Coffee, it means man with the glasses. But apparently the owner who used to have glasses got LASIK, so now he doesn't have glasses. <laughs> but the food is really beautiful, the coffee's great. I don't know what it's up with me and coffee and ca cafes, but I love going to them, so this is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle's my new playground buddy. I don't know why we stopped playing on playgrounds ever. I would never want to go on the teeter-totter because you really have to trust the other person. Kyle's really in full control. He doesn't even have to leave the ground. <laughs> but I can. Spin me, Kyle. Oh, 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 sick. <laughs> ah! This is like one of those scenes from the movies where you're dancing with the new person you just fell in love with and you're spinning, <laughs> except I'm alone. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> so basically, we only had to go here and then you will be satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wrapped up the architecture tour in Rotterdam and now we're heading to the beach. Okay. It's a little chilly, but we're at the beach and it's not raining. We are at Scheveningen, okay? Pronounce it. What's it? Scheveningen. Scheveningen. Yeah, Scheveningen. How do you spell it? Scheveningen. Scheveningen. S E H E V I N G E N. Oh. Scheveningen. is Leiden, the little town of Leiden. This has been a marvelous day exploring Holland with these guys. I can't thank you guys enough for showing me and Kyle around. And now we're about to go have some dinner, but I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys because my battery is about to die. So if you are ever visiting Amsterdam, I can't encourage you enough to just go explore outside of the city for a day. You can take trains all over this place and check out some of these towns that we were able to walk around today. You won't regret it. Mm -hmm.